That call we got from Wagoner Farm turned out to be a little more interesting than I was expecting. Some men were trying to run the Wagoners off their land. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. We confronted them, and unfortunately, it came to violence. None of them survived. You helped someone in need and came back alive. That's a job well done. For the time being, yes, but you could still be in danger. That's why we need to fill in some blanks. What did you make of these men who were trying to take the farm? I had a feeling you were no stranger to combat. Good thing, too, given the turn of events. You can take the soldier out of the war, but you can't take the war out of the soldier. You carry that experience with you forever. Now, did you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? Hope Tech ships ain't exactly cheap. That thief could probably tell us a lot about these men you ran into. There's something else. They were dressed in Free Star militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. Didn't you fight in the Colony War, Marshal? That sound familiar at all? The 1st Cavalry. I was in that unit for a while. But it was disbanded decades ago. After the Battle of Nera. What was left of it, anyway. The 1st Cavalry lost almost all their mechs and soldiers in a big push to take a United Colony's base. They were just about there when a ceasefire order came down. Both sides had just lost too much by then. It was a bloodbath. The commanding officer of the 1st disobeyed the order. He didn't want the lives of his soldiers to be sacrificed for nothing. They court-martialed him, and the rest of the surviving officers, and locked them all up. The war between the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective? Worst conflict the settled systems has ever seen. Each side unleashed terrible weapons on the other, and countless people died. Uh, the armistice uh, was signed 20 years ago. But a lot of folks still bear their scars. I suppose it ain't impossible, but it's real damn unlikely. I don't recall how long the sentence was. Hell, it's our only lead. The Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo. Nia Kalu's our ranger stationed out there. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find the thief. Just make sure you stay on his good side. He's on the Council of Governors, and they're the ones we answer to. Normally, I'd praise that kind of dedication, but you need to maintain a sense of perspective here. Our authority and our power comes from the Council of Governors. Remember that. This is your assignment now, Deputy. Work with the other Ranger. Meantime, I'll look into a possible connect. Good hunting. I'll make sure Ranger Kalu knows. 